over that with a couple of wins so far. Unanimous decision against Antonio Fernandez of Spain and a 3 2 split against Pavel Brack of Poland. Savin got a bye and then beat Adam Hessian of Ireland on a split 4 1. Hessian, who got to the final of the European under 22s during the summer, Savin's Russian national champion this year. So neither of these two experienced at this level. That's been the case for lots of fighters we've seen in this competition, in this tournament. Plenty making the step up to senior world championships for the first time. Side Mufasir of Morocco, our referee. So in the red here, Ovat of Turkey in the blue, Savin, the Russian Boxing Federation. Ovat, Orthodox Savin, Southport. Saw Ovat's opening fight. Compact, accurate fighter. Threw plenty of short, straight shots. Kept things pretty simple, really. Leads off of the right hand there, which didn't land. Long one, two there. Sabin. Nice jab for the Russian. Stiff jab with that lead right. And again, there just flicks a couple up from the waist as he's moving around to his left hand side. It's nice and loose, Sabin. there most of those were blocked and then trying to find that left hand he's just up the pace a little bit in the last 20 seconds or so over at. I think he realized that what he can't do here is let Savin settle into some kind of rhythm where he just circles around changing direction popping jabs up from the waist he cannot let him do that you look at the way he moves Savin he's he is a kind of rhythm fighter he's one of these campaigners who if you let him he can just settle into a, a nice kind of easy beat. Straight left hand from Savin. Stepped into the jab there, Ovat, but then just caught the left hand as he was trying to follow up. Good fight this, heading into the final 30 seconds of the round. The pace of it's really picked up in the second half. There's that jab again, he's nice and accurate with that jab. And Ovat sometimes just doesn't move that head. And he does what quite a lot of fighters do, which is move his head when he's out of range and then stop moving it when he comes into range. There it is again, the lead right hand just bouncing off his forehead. He's landed that, and not far off 10 times, I don't think, in his first round, Savin. Savin takes it 10-9 across the board there and you wouldn't really argue with that. He did the, the more accurate punching. Oh. 
short left hand there on the inside as well. the body from over taking the center of the ring here Savin tucks up well as over just tries to find a few gaps of the two it's Savin who is more adept at that because he's got that greater variety just went down to the body there and then off the back of that threw a straight right hand down the middle to the head Managed to get it through the guard. Good fighter. Clever fighter. Well, pulls the head back nicely there, Savin. Novak just trying to step on him. Full punch combination and the fourth punch landed. Went to the head first. The gloves came up a little bit maybe, then went down to the body and, and this is what he does. Before that, he rattled a few off to the body, then went up to the head and got the punch through. So he just knows how to work the openings. Ovat is just a little bit more basic. And he will step in, throw a combination, but he doesn't switch up and down in the way that Savin does, and that's why he's able to find the gaps. And he's taken some steam out of Ovat here. It's difficult for him really to get any punches off because Savin is, is catching him, not clean all of the time, but he's hitting him with something pretty much all of the time, and it just means that he doesn't really have an opportunity to build any momentum. And he's just not been able to, to get his punches off in this second round for exactly that reason. This is a really good performance from Edward Savin. sure that will be another set of 10 nines for Savin. Indeed it is, so two point lead for him with all five judges and he's just kind of clicked through the gears a little bit. Good start in the first round, nice and accurate. Second round was more comprehensive because he threw more punches. As I said, he he works the openings. He doesn't just throw and hope that something gets through. And that's kind of more what Ovat does. That it sounds quite harsh to say that, but that that's more what he does. It's what a lot of fighters do. Get into distance, let your hands go. Be busy. It's a high kind of failure level sport boxing and that most punches you throw won't land. The more you throw, the better chance you've got of getting some through. And that's what Ovat kind of works on. When he, when he gets into distance, he lets his hands go. Savin does it differently. As I said, he'll go up to the head. Maybe see those gloves come up, then go down to the body. He'll concentrate on the body. Maybe see those forearms come down, then go up to the head. There's a reason for everything that he does.
trying to get close here. Hovat, it's getting harder and harder for him. Left hand into the body there from Savin. Right hand got through there, I think, from Ovat. Savin just trying to tuck up, shot the left hand straight down the middle. Then goes to the body, and you look when he's covering up there, Ovat. He's really trying to get that guard as tight as he possibly can. Dip over, tuck his chin in. And the reason for that is because Savin has managed to pick holes in that guard so often that really now he's He's completely going into that shell and not even really looking to to come back with anything when when he's on the defensive like that. It is pure defence. Good jab there though from Ovat. into the body there from Savin, just into the pit of the stomach, into the final 30 seconds of round three. And again, round three has been similar to round two. He's never looked to go too gung-ho, Savin, or, or go crazy. He doesn't load up with anything, and for that reason, he can do this for, he can do this for, for 10 rounds, I think. Long arms on him, a long reach. There goes the bell. So it's a little bit early, actually. But um, Savin is going to go through here. Three rounds to nil, 30 points to 27. Ovat never stopped trying to bring it, never stopped trying, but he was outclassed there. Couple of ten eights in there actually in that final round from India and Poland. And that was a very, very convincing win. So he goes through to the quarterfinals. Edward Savin. It's the first time I've seen him. He's a force. Good, good fighter. 